not subscribe to our channel you can do so by clicking the subscribe button as shown above hello friends welcome to kamath astrology in today's video we will talk about the first solar eclipse of the year 2023 which is going to occur on 20th april 2023 now this is a hybrid solar eclipse the solar eclipse is not visible in india so there is nothing like sutak kal etc to be followed in india now where exactly will this solar eclipse be visible it will be visible in parts of china taiwan new zealand australia singapore cambodia indian ocean south indian ocean south pacific ocean vietnam and brunei so this is where the eclipse will show its maximum impact now what is the timing of this eclipse it starts at 7 4 am in the morning and continues for about 5 hours that is till 12 39 pm in the afternoon so this is the chart on 20th april 2023 at 7 4 am when the eclipse begins and you can see the moon sun uranus mercury are all trapped in the rahu ketu axis the sun is at around 5 degrees moon is at around 4 degrees rahu is at around 10 degrees saturn is aspecting the sign of aries at around 10 degrees jupiter is about to cross the boundary between pisces and aries he is about to enter aries he will enter aries on 22nd april 2023 two days after the eclipse and right now jupiter is at 29 degrees in pisces so he is in the gandanta zone that is the border between the fire sign of aries and water sign of pisces so let us now understand what is the impact of this eclipse on the world in general now what does the sun represent sun represents the universal soul sun represents people in power people in authority sun represents the king prime minister president all people in power what does the moon represent the moon represents our mind the moon represents the queen the moon represents emotions moon represents your sentiments and what does mercury represent mercury represents your decision making ability your intellect your communication your speech what does uranus represent uranus represents sudden events uranus represents global events that affect generations together additionally the sun also represents the principles that you hold close to your heart sun represents policies sun represents rules now what happens when the king comes under the influence of rahu what is rahu rahu is breaking the boundaries breaking the rules rahu is obsessive rahu wants what he desires at any cost so since this eclipse is occurring in the sign of aries which is the first sign in the zodiac belt and aries represents quickness aries represents transport aries represents fast decisions what this means is that people in power will take rash decisions in this time that can affect the generations to come for a very long time because the sun that is the king the president the prime minister the power in authority is now being influenced by rahu rules will be modified to achieve the objective of those in power and therefore this can result in new conflicts new wars new happenings across the world and in the transport sector why new wars new happenings because aries is the first sign of the zodiac belt it represents 
a new beginning and all these events may happen suddenly because the soul the mind the intellect is clouded right now and under the influence of rahu and ketu at the time of the eclipse the most important thing is saturn is also aspecting this eclipse in the sign of aries and saturn is putting its third aspect on the sign of aries now saturn's aspect is karmic saturn represents the general public saturn represents the neglected people sun represents the people in authority people in power so this aspect of saturn on sun shows a conflict between the general public and the people in authority which means across the world as the time of the eclipse approaches you will see large scale conflicts happening between the general masses and the people in power the rulers in power the decisions taken by those in power may be due to some obsessiveness rules will be modified to satisfy their own desires and this can lead to new wars new conflicts since jupiter is in the gandanta zone jupiter is a guru who represents religion spirituality dharma higher knowledge and since jupiter is in gandanta it means these leaders will not be able to utilize that higher knowledge that right advice in this time period and therefore the conflicts will come because jupiter is in gandanta during the time of the eclipse also you can see five planets in the sign of aries that is moon sun mercury uranus and rahu when many planets occupy the sign of aries incidents related to fire increase earthquakes can also come in this time period because it affects the tectonic plates possibilities of air accidents increase in this time period because the sun the moon mercury uranus rahu are all in the same sign and aries also represents transport and aerospace industry the time of the eclipse is when the sun and the moon are both experiencing a lot of trouble that is your soul as well as your mind is disturbed during this time period and the best way to help your soul to help your mind to help yourself is to meditate during the time of eclipse so if you meditate on god during this time period if you worship the sun worship the moon worship lord shiva worship lord vishnu worship god in any form during this time period it has a lot of merit and it manifests later as good things in your life donations done during the time of the eclipse will also prove to be very useful and they hold high merit eclipses are times when many secrets are uncovered many things are revealed which were kept secret and therefore this will reveal the true face of many world leaders in this time period the decisions that they make the power politics that they play all will come to the forefront and you will be clearly able to see the real face of such people the regions which will be most impacted due to this eclipse will be the region where it is completely visible that is australia new zealand the china taiwan conflict could also spark up in this time period to some extent natural disasters can happen in australia new zealand vietnam brunei all these regions where the eclipse is highly active some problems along the south pacific ocean the south indian ocean may also happen in this time period why because jupiter is also transiting the gandanta zone 
Jupiter is a heavy planet which represents storms, which represents cyclones, tsunamis. And so these things can get triggered when the eclipse is happening or a few days post the eclipse. Now, how long does the effect of the eclipse remain? This eclipse is active for around 5 hours and therefore the effect of this eclipse will manifest for around 5 months from the date of this eclipse. Now one interesting thing is when this eclipse is happening, there is a Parivartan yog between Mercury and Mars. That is, Mars is in Mercury's sign of Gemini and Mercury is in the sign ruled by Mars, that is Aries. And therefore Mars is also indirectly connected to this eclipse and this can trigger earthquakes in this time period. The good thing about the eclipse is that if you do any spiritual practice during the time of the eclipse, if you meditate on God during the time of the eclipse, if you do donations to help the poor during the time of the eclipse, it has great merit, it has great value and those will manifest as good things in your life at a later stage. Now, which are the zodiac signs? most affected by this eclipse. Obviously, the sign of Aries or Mesh will have the maximum impact because the eclipse is occurring in this sign. So, if you are born with an Aries moon or an Aries ascendant, you need to be a little careful during this time. You need to meditate more during this time. For the Leo ascendant also or for the Leo moon also, you need to be very patient during this time because the ruler of Leo that is Sun is undergoing the eclipse. And since Sun is getting eclipsed in the ninth house from which it rules, that is in the sign of Aries, the health of the father needs to be taken care of in this time period. Also try to avoid long distance journeys, foreign trips during this time period. If you are born with a Leo ascendant or a Leo moon. For the Virgo ascendant, the Virgo moon, this eclipse is occurring in the 8th house from the sign of Virgo and therefore it is a very good time for you to channelize your energy into meditation, into worship of Shiva, Durga or Vishnu during this time period. Some of you may face accidents during this time period. So be a bit careful during this time period because this eclipse is happening in your 8th house and in your 2nd house also there is a Ketu present there. For the Scorpio ascendant also this eclipse may be a bit tough because it is happening in the 6th house that is in the sign of Aries for you and therefore hidden enemies, conflicts, diseases, can bother you in this time period. For China, this is the fourth house where the eclipse is occurring. It represents the general public, the masses, peace, homeland. So some disturbance in the China-Taiwan region is expected in this time period. Australia, New Zealand, incidents of forest fires may increase during this time period. Also, because Jupiter is now crossing the Gandanta and the eclipse is happening on 20th April, we can see certain storms, cyclones in the South Indian Ocean, in the South Pacific Ocean. So, this is how the world will overall be impacted during this time period. Leaders will take wrong decisions which can lead to more conflicts, new wars, or new problems. At a personal level, if you are trying to take any major decision during this time, try to postpone it for some time. Wait for a few days after the eclipse is over and then you take the major decisions. Do not take major decisions, do not lend money, do not give money during this time period. Otherwise, there could be certain problems in your life. For India in particular, this eclipse is happening in the 12th house because India has a Taurus ascendant. 
सो इट डज शो सम प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम फॉरेन लैंड्स फॉरेन कंट्रीज फॉरेन पीपल एज वेल एज अ लॉट ऑफ पॉलिटिकल इशूज कमिंग अप ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम पीरियड सो इफ देर आर इलेक्शंस और इफ देर इज एनी अदर एक्टिविटी ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम पीरियड विद इन इंडिया देर कुड बी अ लॉट ऑफ डिस्टर्बेंस इन दोज रीजन्स The eclipse also shows the Russia-Ukraine war will escalate. It might pour into certain other regions, not just remain constricted to Ukraine anymore. So this is quite possible that the war may spill into regions beyond Ukraine. So friends, while eclipses are natural phenomena which happens every now and then, and even after 15 days you will now have a lunar eclipse on May 5th. it is still a time when we need to be careful we need to meditate we need to introspect because lot of new things happen lot of old secrets get uncovered and the world energy in general is disturbed during this time period this eclipse is significant because four planets are getting trapped in the rahu ketu axis at the time of the eclipse Jupiter the wise advisor is also in Gandanta which means during this time period the people in power do not receive the right advice they take the wrong decisions which impact the entire world and the generations to come now saturn putting its aspect on the sun the sun getting trapped in the rahu ketu axis also shows that if you do donations in the name of your ancestors to poor people feed the poor people during the time of the eclipse you will also be blessed by your ancestors so try to do maximum good deeds during the time of the eclipse and no harm shall come to you so friends that's all from my end if you like this video please mark it as liked on youtube for any queries please write to us at astrosevaworld@yahoo.com